you know you can build your own 3d models using ai and that too without having to know tools like blender and not just one model but models like this Giza's pyramid that I built from just an image that was taken from Google Maps right here. Also models like this Eiffel Tower right here. Although the quality isn't that great, but this is only in the free version. If you get their premium version, you can get better quality. So without further chatter, let's dive right in the video and start exploring how you can build these AI models for free and that too without having any prior 3D model knowledge. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Hoshim Reyes and we're finally getting started with this video. In this video, we're going to be generating 3D building models using Nano Banana as well as this free tool which is called Hexagen. So it also have paid tier but we're going to be using the free one where we can do single image to 3D model also multiple image to 3D model. We can go with the front, back, left and right side images of the prospect and it will generate that 3D model for us. And we'll be getting images from Google Maps Street View. All right, so let's get started with the video. So as you can see, I have one image right here. I gave it a prompt. I'm also going to show you where you can get these prompts and it generated this result. Now, after getting this result, I can just download this and head back to Hexagen and here I can just go ahead and drop that image. And for free, I can generate this kind of models although the quality isn't that great but if you really want high quality what you can do is you can just go ahead and upgrade with your premium tier they also let you play around with your 3d model like the uv mapping also the retexture so you can go ahead and upload another image for the texture if you want to change the texture pretty cool i would say i'm gonna get started with a couple of examples right now all right, so for the first example, we're going to be using Eiffel Towers. So in this example, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take two different screenshots. One is going to be a top down view, which is right here. So let me just go ahead and take a screenshot. So this much should do it. And I can just go ahead and paste that right here. The second screenshot that I want to take is should be should be in street view. So for that, you can just head to layers more. And here you can just go ahead and say street view. And I can go ahead and choose any viewing point. So let's say this viewing point right here is quite close. I think we have to move a little farther so that we can see the whole structure. So I'm just going to go to another viewpoint. Now from this angle, we can pretty much see the whole Eiffel Tower. So I can just go ahead and snip it. There you go. Let's take a screenshot. I can paste that as well. So we have a top down view and a side view. So now I can just paste in my prompt. So for the prompt, you can go ahead and ask ChatGPT to generate that prompt for you where you can ask ChatGPT that you want to take a screenshot from Google Maps and turn that into a 3D model using Nano Banana. So it's going to give you this prompt right here, which you can go ahead and copy. Now, Nano Banana will not be able to give you an output in GLB or OBJ format. So you will only be getting an image which would look something like this, a reference image. That's why we need to use Hexagen to later on convert that image into a 3D mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in that prompt right here. Pretty simple and just run. Now you have to wait for a couple of seconds. And as soon as you get your reference image right here, you can just dump that image in Hexagen and it should be able to generate that 3D model for you. So there you go. You have your results out. It took 23 seconds for Nano Banana to generate this. And this really looks like a 3D model, although we cannot interact with it. But still, this step is helpful when you want to generate a 3D model. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this image. Head back to my model generator, which is Hexagen. And I can just go ahead and do a single image now. And later on, I'm going to be showing you how you can do multiple images. So let's just go ahead and upload the image. There you go. And then just click on generate 3D model. As you can see, the access is free and it's going to take around 2.5 minutes to generate this model. So let's just click on generate 3D model. And that's how easy it is to generate 3D models from any image or screenshot that you take from Google Maps. You don't have to edit images to remove the background or make them clearer. Or maybe you want to remove some objects like this tree right here. You can just pretty much go ahead, take a screenshot, upload that to Google AI Studio and Nano Banana will do everything for you. And then you can take this reference image. So there you go. We have the results out. Although the texture isn't that great because we're using the free version. So if you want to upgrade the quality, you can just go ahead and click on improve quality and it will do that. But for that, you will need to buy their pro version which will only cost you $15 per month. Now, if you want to do this professionally and actually sell these 3D models online, 
on platforms where you can sell 3D models and object, you can just go ahead and purchase their pro plan. But if you just want a reference and later on you can go ahead and retexture it yourself, you can use their free version. And also you can just upload the image of the texture right here to retexture it, or you can go ahead and insert a prompt to retexture it if you want to. It's gonna take around seven minutes to do that. So this was a rough output of the three model of Eiffel Tower, you can see the top down view. So for the next example, I'm going to be choosing the Parmesan Visa and I'm just going to go ahead with the biggest one here. Let's zoom in. All right. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of the top view. Also a street view screenshot right here. Drop both screenshots in Google AI Studio and then just paste in our prompt. Now you need to change something in the prompt. Previously, we were using a single image. So we need to remove this single image right here. And we're going to say that using a top-down view and a street view image is going to generate a clean, complete and realistic 3D model of the structure. You only have to change this little portion here and then you can just go ahead and run this. Now we're going to get a reference image for the 3D model. It's going to be way cleaner without a background so that we can drop right here in this hexagen model generator. While my single image pyramid was generating, I went on and generated the front, right, left and back view of this chair and we're going to be using this to do the multi-image generation but before that you can just go ahead and reapply a texture right here if you wanted to because the free version and the low quality version wasn't able to copy the complexity of the parameters texture so i can just drop the texture image here and retexture it this is quite good as for the shape and structural details we might need to do a little work on the texture but again, I would say if you want to use this professionally, go with the pro version where you get better quality. All right, so let's go ahead with multiple images and I'm just going to go ahead and upload the images right here. I went on and generated the 3D model using the multiple images in the same account, but somehow operation kept failing. So what I did is I created another account and did the same thing and you have the results right here. So this is the 3D model using four different images. I mean, this looks really good. So we can go ahead and download this by clicking here and you can go with FBX format or GLB. You can go with whichever format you want to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download the GLB format here. Pretty simple. This is how you can download any 3D model that you have generated using Hexagen. Again, in my videos, I always give my honest reviews and the free version is not enough if you really want quality results. You might have to purchase their paid tier if you want good results, but you still get results like this, which are really, really good. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how you can turn any image into a 3D model using Nano Banana. And you can choose any building structure from Google Maps, or you can download any image from the internet and give that to Nano Banana to give you this reference image. Then you can just go ahead and drop that image here in hexagen and it can generate most of the objects for you for free but the quality depends on the complexity of the object if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring